I'm going to present our structured literature review of the epidemiology of COPD. This review investigated prevalence, incidence, mortality, and trends in these data. Current data suggests that COPD mortality is increasing, and by 2020, COPD is predicted to be the third leading cause of death worldwide. However, there are several methods for diagnosing and classifying the severity of COPD, resulting in widely differing estimates of prevalence and incidence. It is important to understand the true epidemiology of COPD, to monitor trends over time, and to determine the effectiveness of potential treatment or preventive measures. The objectives of our literature review were to identify articles investigating the incidence, prevalence or mortality of COPD in Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, the UK and the US. In addition, we aim to identify trends in these data over time and observe any trends regarding age, sex and disease severity. We conducted a structured comprehensive literature review for articles published between January 2000 and September 2010 that described the epidemiology of COPD, emphysema or bronchitis. Titles and abstracts were screened at level 1 and then of those selected as relevant, full text articles were screened at level 2 and selected for inclusion in the review. The PRISMA flowchart shows the flow of articles through the screening process. Of 2,838 unique articles identified in the database searches, 299 articles were retrieved for full text evaluation. Of those, 133 were included for data extraction. The greatest number of relevant articles was identified for the US, Sweden and Canada, but there were sparse data for, the Ger for Germany, the Netherlands, France and Italy. 80 articles focused on prevalence of COPD, 15 reported incidents and 58 reported mortality associated with COPD. 12 articles reported trends in incidence and prevalence and 25 reported trends in mortality. Our paper reports a comprehensive tabulated summary of the prevalence data we identified from 80 studies, including study design, population, method of diagnosis and classification, sample size and prevalence split by age, sex and method of diagnosis. This table is included in the supplementary material provided with our paper. Our review provides further evidence that obtaining reliable COPD prevalence estimates is challenging. Several articles compared diagnosis and classification methods across the same populations and in general found that individuals identified by spirometry and classified using the 2001 goal criteria had a greater COPD prevalence than when using other classification methods such as the British Thoracic Society, European Respiratory Society, or American Thoracic Society criteria. Other articles reported higher prevalence estimates using spirometry-based methods when compared with symptom-based diagnosis or self-reporting. Of the articles reporting trends in COPD mortality over time, 14 reported mortality within the overall population. These studies were from Australia, Canada, France and the US. In general, studies reported an overall increase in mortality rates within the last 30 to 40 years, with a much greater increase in mortality in women than in men. However, some studies indicated that, within the last 10 years, mortality rates have increased at a slower rate or have decreased, particularly in men. This was found to be the case in Australia, France and the US. We hypothesise that the difference in mortality trends between men and women may be explained by trends in smoking prevalence in the countries of interest, but this was not explored in any of the reviewed articles. Our comprehensive structured review represents an important addition to literature, being the only review to our knowledge to identify studies on prevalence, incidence and mortality, as well as trends in these data. Our review included more recent data, published up until September 2010, compared with similar published reviews. Also, our review considered data in Australia, Canada, Japan and the US, as well as in Europe. As such, we believe our review provides a current picture of the burden of COPD in major developed countries.